Hey guys, it's Kate, and um, if you haven't noticed, not feeling the best today, but I gotta get this through. This is my August book haul, and I got 17 books and ordered two, so that's 19 books. Oh, and I might be getting four more. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. But you guys will be happy to know that two of these are from Garage Sale. And two of them are from the library, and the rest I got at the bookstore that I usually go to, which is 50 cents for softback and a dollar for hardcover. So if you haven't checked out the vlog I made on the bookstore, go check it out right now. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first one I think I got this month is Sophie Consalo's Confessions of a Shopaholic, which I'm really excited to read. I got this for 50 cents. Blah. 50 cents at the bookstore I usually go to, which is just, ugh. And it's in perfect condition, just like, it's just, ah. I was so happy when I saw this, so happy. So, yeah, I only got, no, I think, I must have got more. I don't, I don't remember exactly when I got these, but yeah, I think this is the first one I got this month, so yep, there's that one. Next, I went to the bookstore again. And I got Secret Daughter, a novel by Schlippi Somea Gouda. You guys can try to figure that out for yourself, but guys. I kind of know what this is about. It's about a girl and she's like, the mother leaves her or something and takes place in India, I think. So India? Yes, Indian Village. So, not really sure. I think it's an adult book. It probably is. But maybe I will give it a try yeah for 50 cents I'll take it I will take it so there's that one the next one I was pretty happy to find again and this is Shopaholic Ties and Knot also by Sophie Kinsella yeah I found I think this is the third I thought it was the last one because it makes sense if she ties a knot you know at the end but I guess it's the third one so just missing the second one but really happy to find this at the bookstore for 50 cents Happy, really happy. The next one I got is the Book Lovers Appreciation Society by a whole bunch of people. I'm not gonna read them all, but it's funny because I picked this up at the same time I got this, and then I'm looking at the authors and I go, Oh, it's Sophie Kinsella. Just a coincidence, but I really don't know what this is about. I think it's short stories by one of these authors. One of them wrote a short story in this. I don't know. Oh, okay, fall. Well. But I don't know really what it's about, but sure. It's supporting breast cancer, guys. Yeah. Okay, next I went to a garage sale. And I found, there's a couple books. There was My Sister's Keeper. Like, not the movie edition, like the actual cover. And I really, really wanted it. So I opened it and I'm flipping through and half the pages are falling out. And I'm like, I was so mad. So mad. I'm like, okay, no, just, just putting it down. And I found this author again. She's, I guess she's following me. She's really just following me. Sophie Kinsella is following me, guys. And the book I got is I Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. Starting a collection of her books. I guess she just wants me to read her books really bad. But yes, I'm really excited. I found this. I searched on Goodreads a couple of days prior to when I got this. So it's kind of coincidence I found it. Really excited. It sounds really cute and funny. And I can't wait for this. The next one I got is kind of odd, but, I mean, it was cheap, so why not? And it's French Woman for All Seasons, A Year of Secret Recipes and Pleasures by Muriel Guilano. I'm not sure. But it's like a cookbook of, like, French recipes that are healthy for you and good for you, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to try to make some of these because I love French food. Oh, you have no idea. One of my friend's family is French, and they make French food all the time. Oh my god. Oh. So, yeah, I'm going to try some of those. And I'll let you guys know if I do any of them and let you know how they are. But, yeah, that's that one. Next, I went to the bookstore again. This isn't the same day, guys. I'm doing this, like, throughout the month. But, this visit, who I got six. Six. So, yeah. Um, the first one I got, 
I just read the back and the, really the cover got me intrigued. I just pulled it out and I read the back. Sounds really, really cool. And that is Memor Memories of an Imaginary Friend by Matthew Dix. And Jodie Picoult actually has like a little blurb at the top talking about it. Um, it's about this little, I don't know how old he is. He's eight, I think. Uh, yeah, but I guess it's about this imaginary friend who's following the sky and the less he believes in the imaginary friend, the more the imaginary friend disappears. And if he doesn't believe it anymore, he just completely disappears and is gone. So he's trying to make the boy try to believe in him more, but it's harder and he's facing difficulties because he's growing up and yeah, it just, it sounded cool. It sounded cool. Next, I got two of like the same books. I don't know if it's like a series or something, but you can read them separate. It's the Dear Canada books. And the first one is If I Die Before I Wake look like that. They're like diaries. Like journal entries and diaries and stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know if they're real or not but you know whatever. Pretty cool. And the next one I got is Turned Away. It looks like that. And they have little bookmarks. Isn't that cool? And yeah. I started. Which one did I start? I started reading this one I think. And it's pretty good so far. It's about war and stuff. And about kids and they're just like writing in their diary and stuff. And yeah. You get, you get the point. You get the point. But, yeah. For, like, 50 cents for both of these. Hardcover? I'll take it. And it happened in Canada. Like, awesome. Winnipeg and Toronto. I live near Toronto, so that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. The next one I got. I don't, I don't know why I got it. I think I'm going to read it in grade 10 or 11, and that's why I bought it. And I wanted a classic. And yeah, the book is Hamlet by Shakespeare. And I really don't know why I got it. I just saw it and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll read this. But yeah, there's that. It's cute. It's cute. It's like, it's cute. It's, oh, it's soft. Yeah, okay, putting that down. Okay, the next one is Princess in the Spotlight, which is the second book in the Princess Diaries series, I think, uh, by Meg Cabot. And I know, I forget who it is, but there's a channel that just like, these two girls, I don't, I forget what their channel name is, I'm really sorry. I'll leave it down below if I find it. But they always talk about the Princess Diaries series and how they love it so much. And I just found out at my library they have the first book, so I'll read the first book. And I have the second book, so yeah. And the last one I got at that kind of bookstore haul is My Perfect Life, which is also the second book in Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. I really don't know why I got this. It just looked like a teen book and when I see a teen book for 50 cents I'll take it. So yeah I'm gonna try to look for the first one at my library. If not I'll just kind of go on Amazon or something and see if I can get it. But yeah. That one. Next Caitlin finally got a library card guys. I finally did. So the first one I picked up is one that I've been wanting to read my whole life. Well, my whole life, but for a very long time. And that is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I have so wanted to read this, like, forever. Forever. And I'm so excited that I finally got it and that my library has it. And I'm just really excited, guys. I'm just, I'm just excited. Really excited. Yeah. The next one I got kind of doesn't make, maybe it doesn't make sense for you guys, but I don't know if you guys know, but I'm trying to, like, Watch how I eat. I'm trying to be like cleaner the way I eat and trying to exercise and stuff. So I got Teen Fit for Girls, your complete guide to fun, fitness, and self-esteem. And it's just like cool stuff, like working out things, like uh, bleh, bleh, there, um, healthy eating and how to have confidence and stuff. And then today, guys, guess what I did? I went back to the bookstore and got three more books. I was happy to find these two books, even though they're the fourth and the eighth in the series, but I love the TV show. I love it, okay? So I bought the books. And those books are Unbelievable and Wanted by Sarah Shepard. And this is the fourth and this is the eighth in the series. I saw them for a 50 cents and a dollar. I'm not going to turn them down, so I have these. I'm going to try to collect the whole series. If not, my library must have them. So, yeah. Yeah. Happy to find these. And the last book I got is Night World Volume 2. I thought this was Volume 1, but still it's Volume 2 and there is three books in it. So, yeah. Won't turn this down. Hopefully I'll find the first volume. 
so yeah that's my august book haul hope you guys enjoyed if you read any of these books of course let me know down in the comments give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and yeah hope you guys have a good day or night depending on what time you're watching this and yeah see you later guys